Begin prayer if it's worth it. Father in heaven, Lord, thank you for all you've done for us. You have been a blessing to us in good times or bad times. Sorry about that. There's a lot of feedback in the mic. We continue praying. Lord, I ask you to anoint all of us to hear your word. Fill us all, Lord. Thank you for all you've done for us. Be with us. Open our hearts and minds to understand your word that you give us. Watch over those who come. Protect them, Lord. Those who are sick that couldn't come, heal the body, continue working in them. Help us grow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm going to use my glasses sometimes. Started using it today. Can't see over there. I can see now. Contact now. I was like touching my eye. Yes, I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah. Last week, we talked about how, why is it important to witness? You have to hear the word of God. You're right. God commands us to go out and witness, to share his word, what he's done. The good news. You know, the good news is what? Jesus died on the cross. That's good news. Yeah, it is for us because that act itself is what saved us. The blood that washed our sins away because of that. The good news is we believe in him. We shall have everlasting life. So I want to continue telling the fourth story. The fourth thing Shallow. Had to hear to believe. Acts chapter 16, 25 through 30, 40. Sorry, I'm laughing because I saw someone get hit in the head. Yeah. Acts chapter 16, verse 25 through 40. About midnight. Keep on making sounds. Paul and Silas were praying. They were in jail, but they didn't care because they already knew the good news. They were not in jail in the spirit. The spirit was free. They were bond physically, yes. The spirit was free, not bond. They were rejoicing in God. It didn't matter where they were in life. In jail, persecution, close to death, it didn't matter because of him. The good news was worth living for. It was worth dying for as well for them and for us. Other prisoners were listening to them. They were singing and praying.
Testing one, testing two. It might be for my glasses one. So as we know, in other states, in New York, there was a small earthquake. Boom, boom, boom. People got scared. They ran outside. Some actually jumped out of windows. I read about that. They were afraid because they haven't experienced it. But we here experience earthquake. And some still hear it sometimes. Most of us like we used to. But we haven't had the big one since 1994, I believe. The big one. What happened one day was when we praise God, right? Praise God. You want a big earthquake? Praise God. No, you're not going to praise God? Yeah, please. We'll praise God no matter what. The earthquake was strong. The foundation was shaken. The ground. All the doors opened up. Everyone changed. They came loose. God's that powerful. When you praise him, the ground shakes. Chains are broken. Same with God. When he died, the ground shook as well. When we hear the word of God, our hearts are shaken. The chains we have are broken. We receive his word. We were bound to the sinful life. And when Jesus came in, our hearts, our souls were shaken. We were changed. We were free. Verse 27. When Shella woke up, we saw the prison doors open. You know what he planned to do? Planned to kill himself. Planned to. Because he thought all oh, his escape. But Paul shouted, hey, hey, don't hurt yourself. Can you imagine a prisoner, a jailer, and stuff was willing to kill himself? No. That shows how strict the system is. When a prisoner escapes, it's not bad boy. No. <laughs> Heads roll. They were straight. They punished. So that means the jailer had a huge responsibility watching. So the jailer was asleep. So he was sleeping on the job. He's not awake. He knew he made a big boom boom. He knew it would cost his life. So he planned to. But Paul said, no, 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 don't do that. He cared about him. The jailer who put him in jail. He loved everyone. He knew God loves everyone. He wants everyone to have a chance to believe in him. The jailer called for the lights. Finally, a moment. He went to Paul and Silas. He, they were not the only prisoners. Obviously, he knew who Paul and Silas, who they worshipped, who they were praising, who he knew. That's why they went to them. Who caused the earthquake? Who? He knew it was from them too. He went and what must I do to be saved? We asked. Paul said, well, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved in your whole household. Have you ever witnessed this way before? You believe what happened to a whole household? Have you done that before? I don't remember if I've done that before. I'm always going to witness. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior? Yes, yeah. But uh, now we look at that. You believe your whole household will be saved. That, that's true for me. I was saved a long time ago. My wife is saved. My two children believe. My nephew believes. My sister believes. My parents believe. It spreads, it spreads, it spreads. 
Faith is contagious. We share the word of God, and they hear it. You give them opportunity to believe. And then they spoke the word of God, Lord, to others in his house. So they went to his house. At the hour of the night, the cello washed his wounds. In prison now, you have a, a bed, you have food, you have TV. A long time ago, just jail. Sleep on the floor, chains, metal chains, hurt. He washed them. Then immediately, his whole household was baptized. The jailer brought them in his home and set a meal to Paul and Silas. The jailer who put him in jail now is beating him cleaning their wounds. The hearts were shaken, changed. The foundation was twisted. Old ways become new. That's what God does with us. Our old ways are turned. We follow the flesh. That me, 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 me becomes you to others. That's what Jesus did. He died on the cross, not because of himself. He did it for you, not about me. Jesus could say, hey, me is important on the cross. No. But Jesus loved others. You is important. That's what we do when we change. You, you, because we care for others. God says, love him whole heart, mind, body, and soul, and love your neighbors just as yourself. Your neighbors he was full of joy because he came to believe in God. He and his whole home believed in God. The whole family was saved. I like verse 35 and on. When it was day, the magistrates, the leaders, like the judge, came, hey, Paul, release them. Remember in the beginning, he was ready to kill himself, the jailer, remember? Because the prisoners escaped. That's the punishment. But after being saved, God had mercy on him. How? Those who escaped, they set them free. Because now they can't say, hey, they escaped. Punish time. But because they were set free, they're free. So the jailer can't be punished. They're free. I imagine coming up and saying, they're free. Oh, yeah, I know. They're here. They're free already. That was fast. So, no punishment. God had mercy on him. If they see they're free, they will be punished. And then the cello told him, you and go, go in peace. But Paul said, you know, they beat us in the public without a trial. They were Roman citizens. They threw us in prison. Now they want to get rid of us quietly. No, no, no. Come and tell us. Take us out themselves. Officer. Romans. They were scared. Like we are a U.S. citizen. We have a trial process. We go to court. We find guilty or innocent. That's our process. That's U.S. citizen, our right. Same thing, Romans have their right, go to trial, guilty or innocent, which didn't do that, beat them up. 
the vision. He was scared to follow the rule, the laws. That pleased him. Go, go lead the city. Paul went, they arrived, they did his house. He lived with the brothers and sisters, encouraged them. They left. That'd be an awesome testimony. I was in jail. God shook the ground. I was free. The jailer himself cleaned my wounds, fed me. Seriously, he fed you? Cool. God's testimony. I'm sure their spirits were lifted and their faith was built up. Wow, serious? God did that for you? Yeah, I'm excited. The faith is increasing. Like when things happen here to us and brothers and sisters in Christ, we share the word of God. We get excited. God did that for you. We need testimonies. That's the end of that story. We have four different stories. Talk about first question, second question. Now the third question is what? How? Shall they hear without a preacher or someone speaking? Witness. How? If no witness, how will they hear? How will they believe? How? They have to hear the word, right? Okay. That's the answer. Good. They cannot hear the good news of salvation without the witness. They have to witness. There's a saying that says, if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around, can they hear it? No, they can't hear it. But if I was there, Danny, I see the tree fall, uh, your car, what are you going to do? I run, I witnessed, I saw the tree fall. How? Just felt lightly hit her. Witness, tell the story. People hear the word of God. They have to hear it. Go for it. Doesn't like me today. For God to move, He's not limited. That's true. But it requires his people to share the word of God. He uses us. He tests us saying, do we go out? Do we share? When we have an opportunity, do we share the word of God? Or we just, what if I have been there? When they go to hell, they'll be very offended. I share the word of God, plant the seed, God, water. God will take care of it. Our job is to witness, tell the good news. Super Bowl, football, if your favorite team wins, what happened? Tell the good news. Facebook, yay, Cowboys won. I'm announcing it, Cowboys won. You announce it. You let people know. You share the good news because you're excited. The same way we should be excited. Jesus won. Victorious already. How? Same football. How do they win? Dad threw the ball. Right receiver caught it with four players. It's like, wow. Four player. Explain the story. Same with Jesus. When you witness, you tell the story, you share it. You know the story, right? Christmas time, you share you was born. Easter time, you share you died on the cross. And you rose again in what, 10 days? I'm testing you. 
three days, ten days, three days. The grave couldn't keep him. Boom. And he lived for who? For you and me. He died and rose because he loved us so much. He was not thinking about himself on the cross. He was thinking about you, all of us. That was his love. On the cross, he was thinking. He knew your names. I believe that. On the cross, he knew everyone's name. They are my people. He already knew that. We are here why? Because someone witnessed to us. We heard the word of God. And we were saved because of that. Because of hearing. Oh, now we understand who Jesus is, what he did. We believe because of that. If we never heard the word of God, let me say it. I know if there was no youth group when I was in high school. Rock, that was at my youth group. Deal. None? I would probably not hear the word of God. But God placed the youth group. He placed Barbara. Share the word of God. Placed Pastor Fred and Linda here to share the word of God. And you too. Share the word of God with others. That's how we bring people here. We have to share the word of God. Draw them here for him. Proofs of witnesses. A 120 people witnessed. 3,000 were saved on the day of Pentecost. You can read it in the first few chapters. In Acts 2 and up. Talks about that. They were in the upper room. They pray. Holy Spirit. They spoke in different languages. 3,000 were saved in one day. Wow. Can that happen here? Sure. You just have to believe. They go in the upper room and pray for 10 days. We have to wait until we build a vacation time and then come within 10 days off and pray to God. B, Philip, witness to eunuch. He was saved. He read the scroll, the word of God, Isaiah, but he didn't understand it until Philip came up. Hey, you understand what this is? Explain. We like story time. My two girls love story time at night. Read a book. They love it. Then we love story time. He was saved because someone told him about Jesus. He read the scroll of Isaiah and said, will die for you. Who talking about? Philip. Jesus. Who is Jesus? Boom, boom, boom. And he was saved for hearing the word of God. See, Stephen witnessed, Jesus witnessed, Ananias witnessed, Paul was saved. See, why three? Stephen, he was stoned to death. He was killed for him. Paul saw him and heard him talk about see son of man there. The see Jesus boom, boom. became blind for three days. Jesus witness the God sent Naya witness. He was saved. Three and one. Talk about three. God's favorite number is three. It took three tries. 
When we witness, sometimes it doesn't work, right? Witness? No, not interested. Don't worry. Took Paul three times. If I witness someone, no. Boom. Witness? Not interested. The witness? Accept. But see, you have to do it. Sometimes it takes a few tries. Sometimes the first time, great. Second time, third time, fifth time, maybe a hundred times. With my dad, I share the word of God. Boom, 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 you're safe. And I continue, continue. Boom, 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 boom. Finally, how was he saved? He went to a church, a harvest church in Riverside. And the word he preached matched what he needed to hear. <laughs> I tried. Someone else. That's the way it works. But we have to continue throwing the seed. They hear the word of God. Here, here. Maybe the first time is not clear. You ever pick up the Bible sometimes you read? I don't get it. Read it again. Read it again. Ah, oh, I understand. Sometimes you have to read the word of God again and again to understand. To understand, look at it again. Ask the Lord, right? You understand. Ask him for wisdom. Clear the mind, clear my eyes. Understand. Open my heart. Before you come in the church, Tuesdays, Sundays, or you read the Bible, the best thing to do is what? Open my heart, Lord. Open my eyes. Open my mind. That means you're telling God, I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you, Lord. Give me, give me your best shots. Come on. You're ready. You tell them. I'm ready to hear the word. Warm up. You ready? You know, I like sports. I talk about football, baseball all the time. Before the game starts, what do they do? Stretch. Get ready for the game. Sam, we come here to stretch. Talk to the Lord. I'm ready to hear your words. I'm ready to receive. Holy Spirit, come. When I come up here, before I preach or teach, I pray. Tell the Lord, get ready. I'm here. I'm ready for you. Peter witnessed Cornelius and the whole family was saved. Just Paul and Silas witnessed to the jailer. His whole family was saved. So we have A, B, C, D, E. That's what, five different stories. They were saved. They heard the word of God. They had to hear the word of God to be saved. They never hear it. And I can understand what I do. You were saved. Some witness to you. But now we have to return the favor. We have to share to someone. We can't cover his words. All mine. You know, Lord of the Rings, the ruby, golem. It's mine, my precious. My pretty, all mine. I share it with you. Mine. We can't do that. We share. It's for everyone, not only for me, ourselves, for everyone. We share, give, give, give. If we're whole, we don't give. For people to grow, 
You have to give. Give love. Give wisdom. Share the word of God. Pray for each other. That's how we grow with each other. According to the word of God, the law cannot be said without a witness. They must have a witness to hear. They must hear to believe. They must believe to call. They must call to be saved. But they cannot call until they believe. They must believe. They cannot believe they haven't heard. They cannot hear several witness. Witness is important. You have to hear, hear the word of God for to be saved. If we're not sharing, who will? That's our, that's our job as believers to share. Responsibility is responsibility. When Jesus, before, what did he say? Wait for Timothy before that. Go out in the world. Share the gospel. Tell the story. He says, go out in the world. Our world is a deaf community, right? Our world is the hearing too. We have to reach everyone. So we need to hear the word of God. Faith comes from hearing, not hearing. Hearing, oops. I tell you what. Faith comes from hearing by the word of Christ. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Consciousness. Faith comes from hearing the message. And the message is heard through the word about Christ. The message is what is simple. Christ is the message. We know the story already. Christ died on the cross. He would ask why. What are you going to tell him? Because we're sinful. We're apart from God. When we sin in the beginning, <clears throat> can't with God. Unless what? You're holy and perfect. Can we be holy and perfect ourselves? It's possible. But God said, all things are possible to Christ who strengthens me. So it's Christ that makes all things possible. Nothing is impossible for God. So Jesus can back with God. Because of Jesus gave me the opportunity to meet him. We have already been blessed to get the opportunity to meet him already. We need to share the opportunity with others to bless others. Send the word of God. When you see someone hungry, you feed them, right? Hungry, feed. When you look at a person, you just see the hearts are hungry. Everyone is looking for something to satisfy them. And we know the truth. Only he can truly, truly satisfy us. He, that's the living waters. We want to give that to others. The living waters. Satisfy their soul. Give them opportunity. Jesus. It's up to them to take it or reject it. What does that mean we stop? Once in a while, shall. The soul, when they get really, really hungry, when you get really hungry, you eat anything, right? Your soul is hungry. The soul gets hungrier, hungrier, hungrier. Finally, they'll take it. You have to present them, witness to them. I'm going to stop here for now. I'm going to pray for us. We'll have a prayer circle together. Father, heaven, Lord, 
Thank you for all you've done for us. You've been a blessing to us. We believe because someone shared the word of God to us. We thank you for sending them. We together pray and ask you to bless them who shared the word of God to us. Bless that person. Remember the person who shared with you. Lord, ask the Lord to bless that person. Thank you for that person. Because without that person, you would not be saved. And because of that person, because of your son died on the cross, they believe because of your past pastor. Bless, bless them, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Help us give us strength to share the word of God. That we present your words to you. And they will believe everything. Jesus, name we pray. Amen.